Welcome to episode 8 of the Texas Rangers franchise here in MLB 23, the show. It is opening day of the 2024 season, and the Rangers are taking on the brand new Minnesota Twins. Uh, they signed like five or six free agents, made a bunch of trades last year as well. As you see, their lineup has the biggest free agent that there was, Shohei Otani. He's also on the mound today, and it's going to be a big day. Um... The Rangers have a lot of expectations here for 2024, uh, bringing guys in like Clayton Kershaw, Luis Severino, and Joey Gallo, along with Craig Kimbrell, who's our main guys, with Matt Moore. And I think that's everyone we signed in the offseason, but no acquisition is bigger than the acquisition of returning star Jacob deGrom. Coming off of Tommy John surgery, he will be starting today for your 2024 Texas Rangers. Otani versus DeGrom. You couldn't ask for a better matchup for opening day here. The roof is open, and this should be a fantastic matchup. As we'll look into the preseason projections for the Rangers, they have low as our highest average seager with the OPS. Simeon at 29 home runs, which is surprising. Young on RBIs and Garcia. Stolen bases with Marcus Simeon. Uh, projected to lead the team in a war with only 3.8 which is an interesting stat there. I mean, 3.8 is not a low number, but but there's our guy, Jacob DeGrom. Missed all of last season with Tommy John, like I mentioned in the intro, and I'm excited to see if he still has that fastball. He is 35, but he still has a few more years on his contract, and as long as he's good this year, like, like Jacob DeGrom level good, then I think we're going to be okay paying that much money. Um, as Royce Lewis who had a good year last year, is leading off for the Twins and the 2-2 pitch to him. It's actually a line drive out to right field. Pretty well hit, actually. But we do have one out under our belt for Jacob deGrom. As you get a look at their lineups, Royce Lewis, Jonathan Daza, uh, Shohei Otani, Christian Walker, Jorge Planco, Christian Vasquez, Max Kepler, Matt Chapman, and I actually couldn't see who's hitting ninth. They went too fast. <laughs> But it's a 2-1 two, 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 count, and now it's a 2-2 two, two count on Jonathan Daza, big contact guy. And he's an okay fielder, too, but now the 2-2 two, two is fouled off. The crowd is going to erupt when DeGrom gets his first strikeout back as a Ranger. As he'll come with the 2-2. Two, two. And there it is, a swing and a miss at a curveball, and the crowd has an, a standing ovation. You hope at least. It's good to see DeGrom back after his second Tommy John surgery in his career. And I'm excited for him to lead us in the rotation as he hits 101 against the dangerous Shohei Otani. As you see, he had a crazy year on the hill and he hit 31 home runs. Definitely the best player in baseball and I don't think there's much debate for anyone else. But the 1-2 will be smashed, smashed on the ground. But it does hook foul. As you saw Joey Gallo there playing first base. Excited to see him out there. And the 1-2 will be hit on the ground to Young. Young knocks it down. The throw to first is not going to be nearly in time to get the speedy Shohei Otani. As he legs out his first hit of the 2024 season. And that will bring up Christian Walker, who they acquired last year. And he'll swing and a miss at a circle change. So now there will be a 2-2 count on him. He hit 35 home runs last year. And the 2-2 two -two is on the ground to Gallo. He pumps to second, but he'll just flip to DeGrom at first. And that will end the first for Jacob DeGrom. He gives up the one hit, but he also has the strikeout. And we'll go to the bottom half of the first for the Texas Rangers. As Shohei Otani is on the hill. He had a 2-7-2 ERA last season with 192 strikeouts. And like I mentioned, he hit the 31 home runs. He's absolutely insane. But it is a full count on Marcus Simeon. And it's going to be a fouled off. A nice slider there. A really good pitch, actually. And uh, I'm very excited for this season. Like I mentioned, we have the new format. It's a it's a full season this go-around instead of last season. As Marcus Simeon swings under a fastball 98 in the heart of the over the heart of the plate. And that's Shohei's first strikeout of the season. As we'll go ahead and hop to the bottom of the second. Nothing going on in the first. Or the top half of the second. And so 3-1 count to Adolis Garcia. And he walks. Uh, but like I mentioned, I'm excited to have the format of the season. And be able to 
And so Garcia takes off, and he's going to be in there with his first stolen base. He did lead the Rangers in stolen bases last season, and he gets it going early this season. But like I'm trying to mention, geez, um, the format of the season is going to be a lot better, and I'll be able to structure the season. Uh, it'll be more organized, I guess, and less like sporadic. But now Simeon is on in the bottom half of the third. Still no runs in this game. And he'll hit it on the ground. And Royce Lewis will make a diving stop in shallow left field. The throw to first is in time. What a play by Royce Lewis. And Marcus Simeon isn't slow, so he had to put a lot on that throw. Basically throwing it from left field. An insane play by the Twins shortstop. And that'll bring up Corey Seager. Here in the bottom half of the fourth, nothing going on on either side of the ball. Corey Seager is one hit away from the 1,000 hit club. And he is trying to find that here today on opening day. And the 1-2 pitch to him is going to be hit the other way through the shift. And that is going to be hit 1,000. Uh, he is, I believe, 28 or 29 years old. So he's definitely not going to hit 3,000 hits. But hopefully we can get him to 2,000 before his career is over. It's cool to see him at 1,000. The injuries at the beginning of his career definitely derailed a lot of his milestone numbers. But he's still one of the best players in baseball, if you ask me. And that'll bring up Nathaniel Lowe, who was a silver slugger last year, I believe. Maybe. He was in the running for the batting title, but I know he fell off near the end of the season. Still one of the better hitting first basemen. He is our full-time DH, though. And the 3-1 count is crushed. Deep right field. Nathaniel Lowe. Hot start to the season for Lowe. It's a home run. I believe he hit 30-ish last year. Some, it, somewhere in the 20s. And he gets it going early this season. Here on opening day against one of the best pitchers in baseball in Shohei Otani. 417 feet, 106 miles per hour off the bat. That's something you love to see, especially now that he's not playing uh, in the field. You definitely want to see those hitting numbers go up as much as they can. As that is just a middle fastball. And guys like Nathaniel Lowe are not going to miss that almost ever. And now we're going to see Adolis Garcia up. He did walk earlier. And he's up with a full count again. And he takes a low ball again. So a second walk for Adolis Garcia. Something I would really love to see him improve is his walk rate so he's all, like like I keep saying he's off to a great start now that'll bring up Josh Young in a 2-1 count uh, Young looking to repeat his success of last season he was the AL rookie of the year he was drafted in 2019 as that little thing just said and he's definitely going to be the third baseman of the future for the Texas Rangers that's another fastball right down the middle Shohei missing his spots a little bit here in the fourth, he's at 79 pitches. And the 2-2 is hit the other way. Josh Young loves going the other way, and it's going to one-hop the wall. Garcia's running around third. He's being sent home. The throw to the plate is offline, and it's not going to be anywhere close, as that is a 3-0 lead for your Texas Rangers. Josh Young with a beautiful double down the line. And that is a 100-mile-an-hour pitch to Shohei Otani as we jump to the sixth with a runner on either first or third, but it doesn't matter as DeGrom gets another strikeout. And that will end the inning. And there is Jacob DeGrom looking like he has regained his old form, which you love to see as he will pitch the top of the seventh. And that pitch is crushed to the alley, and it will clear the wall into the Rangers' bullpen. A home run for Jorge Polanco, 408 feet. And that will most likely end Jacob DeGrom's day as he is into the hundreds for uh, pitches. And, yeah, that was an absolute missile into the left, uh, right center gap. For Jorge Polanco, um, you would say he's probably one of the weaker spots in their lineup, and it, uh, it does not look like it right now. I think this Twins team is definitely going to be really good with their revamped roster. And they still have guys like Correa, which is crazy because for all the people they signed, it's wild that they already had Correa. But that will do it for Jacob DeGrom today. He pitched fantastic. Um, six innings. I probably should have cut it at six innings, especially on opening day. But that's my mistake. 
I feel bad for making him give up the home run, but he did finish with seven strikeouts, only the one earned run. He only gave up five hits. So very good uh, re-debut for Jacob DeGrom. And Jose LeClerc will come in to pitch here in the seventh. As the 1-1 is to Christian Vasquez, their catcher. He's over 2 today, though. Joey Gallo actually came from the Twins. So that's interesting. He's playing his old team on opening day. And that's a slider that gets Christian Vasquez to swing and miss at it. And now it's a 1-2 count to Max Kepler. Max Kepler also kind of a weak spot in their lineup. Um, so we'll see if they do anything about that throughout the season. As this team is definitely aggressive in their moves as he fouls that one off. And now Leclerc will come with the 1 2 again. And it's another foul off. Kepler is battling up there, though. Kepler's a pretty good fielder, too. And he lays off the high fastball to even the count at two. Here comes Leclerc. And it's a very good take from Max Kepler. With Matt Chapman waiting on deck. Matt Chapman is hitting eighth for them. But that's on the ground to Seeger coming across. Throw to first is in time. Leclerc finishes out the seventh, but Jorge Planco did hit a home run. As now we're in the bottom half of the seventh with a 2 1 count and a one out. And Gallo hits a rocket. Planco can't field it cleanly. The throw to first, not in time. Gallo will leg out an infield single. It would have been a tough play for Planco to make, but you'd think he'd make it. It was 108 off the bat, so you can't blame him too much. And that'll bring up Larry Tavares. He's 0 for 2 on the day. We're looking for a big season out of Laoti um, with guys like Evan Carter and um, Henry Cabrera in the minor leagues. Um, Tavares needs to show me something, and that is something. That ball is back at the track at the wall. It scrapes over the wall. A home run for Laoti Tavares on opening day. A absolute wall scraper. I think it hit the top of the wall as it was going out. A great start for him. You love to see it. I was mentioning the prospects we have that play the same position as him. Um, he has a lot of value, so if we didn't absolutely need to trade him, uh, that's something we could do. But you love to see him start hot here on opening day. It's 5-1, to one, Ranger lead. Just a nice missile line drive. <laughs> yeah, it hit the top of the wall. That's awesome. And now there's a runner on second here in the bottom of the seventh. It's Sonny Gray on the pitch. For Nathaniel Lowe, who did hit the home run earlier, and that's going to be a base hit, and that will score another run. The Rangers are up 6-1. to one. A great start for the whole team. I'm going to keep talking about great starts, apparently, because everyone is off to a great start. Just a nice little bloop base hit over the infield, and that is going to be enough to score the run. So now LeClerc will handle the top of the ninth, and if he gets through the ninth, actually, he will have... A save under his belt, as that is the rule. He pitched the last three innings. It's a rule I didn't know about until recently. Um, but it's a 2-2 count on Jonathan Daza. And besides the Planko home run, they have really not gotten anything going. And that's going to be a little flare into center field. It's going to fall for a base hit for Daza. So there will be a runner on here in the ninth for the Twins. And uh, Leclerc, I would love to see Leclerc go back to his, like, 2018 form. Uh, he was pretty good then. He's just dealt with a lot of injuries since then. As he strikes out Otani here on a slider. Otani not having a great game. Uh, he gave up three runs, I believe. And he had the one hit, so that's good. But I'm not worried about Otani. Especially after he got that huge contract, I'm sure he'll be fine for the Twins. As now Christian Walker will have three balls, one strike on him. And he'll swing at a miss at a fastball. Fastball sitting at 95. Pretty good for Leclerc. As he hits a changeup into the ground. Foul. And full count offering from Leclerc is another foul ball. Christian Walker will not go down without a fight. As Leclerc is up to 42 pitches. Definitely won't see him pitch that many pitches. Probably again this season. I just needed him to end, or to eat up this inning. That's on the ground to Young, to Simeon, on to Gallo, and that will end the game. Your Rangers win 6-1 to one here on opening day. We'd love to see a team 
start with a win, especially with a team as high as expectations as these Rangers do. But if you like the series, go ahead and check the rest of them out in the playlist. And like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time with more Rangers franchise. Peace.